VR chat is one of those games that you can play in different ways. You can play desktop, on Quest standalone, or PC VR. Let's talk about some apps or tools that you can use if you're playing on PC VR. Otherwise, hooking up your PC to your headset. The first is OVR Advanced Settings. This app used to be free, however, now you can purchase it on Steam. It gives you the ability to move up and down in-game. It comes in handy whenever you want to move around or maybe cheat in games or if you just want to chill. If you have full body, this is a must-have. I have a video on how to install OVR Advanced Settings. Click on it here. Next is Excess Overlay. I also have a video on this. <laughs> This is just an application you can use to enhance your VR chat time. <laughs> you can basically pull up windows within your game so you can be on Discord, listen to Spotify, all kinds of things. You can have a little watch on your hand. It's really worth it if you have PC VR. Next is OBS. People use this for a variety of different things. I use this mostly for video recording my videos. You can use it for streaming, video editing, or you can just screen record. You don't even need PC VR. If you're a desktop user, this is a great application you can use to record your moments on VR chat or other games. Next is a way to produce music into the game. You can use Sound Meter Banana or Sound Pad, whichever works for you. Don't ask me to make a video on Sound Banana, no. I can't figure that out for the life of me, so yeah, no. Sadly, I have not been able to do so. I tried three times. I use Soundpad, but it's kind of crappy, but it gets a job done if I want to play music. It's great for dancers or people who just like to listen to music in the game and want other people to listen to. If you have full body, you should get smooth tracking VR. Yes, I have a video on this on my channel. I'll link it below too. <laughs> if you have full body and sometimes it like glitches up and you just like fly around the room, this makes it really smooth, especially if you're dancing or like doing walking movements in the game, it looks really nice. Or if you don't have full body, you can get VR full body estimation. There are different ways you can do this. You can hook up an Xbox Connect. If you have virtual desktop, you can do it through there. Lastly is Gumroad. This is actually a website that you can use to download avatars and upload through Unity. I hate Unity so much. I usually just have people upload my avatars for me. However, I do go on Gumroad and find specific avatars I like, and then you can customize them. All of these will be linked down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and you download these apps or tools. I'll see you next time.